A grand jury could meet as early as today to consider a case involving a Marine veteran who's accused of putting Jordan Neely in a deadly chokehold on an F train last week. It comes as we're now hearing from Neely's family. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook has more from the Broadway Lafayette station in Soho. For the first time, we are hearing from Jordan Neely's family following his death last week. In a rather lengthy and contentious statement, the family had this to say in response to a statement Daniel Penny's lawyers put out last week. It reads in part, quote, The truth is, he knew nothing about Jordan's history when he intentionally wrapped his arms around Jordan's neck and squeezed and kept squeezing. Well, this statement comes as this small memorial for Neely was taken down this morning at Broadway Lafayette after people placed flowers, candles, and made signs pointing attention to his death and mental health issues here in the city. It also comes as chaos erupted Saturday at the 63rd and Lexington Avenue subway stop, where dozens of protesters stormed the station, even jumping on the tracks to demand charges be brought against Penny. He was seen on cell phone video putting Neely in a deadly chokehold. Reverend Al Sharpton and city public advocate Jumani Williams spoke about the incident at the National Action Network Saturday. This man had a mental issue, and the way you handled that is not to put him in a chokehold. What happened here is someone held somebody in a chokehold and choked him to death. There has to be accountability for that. Witnesses say Neely was a Michael Jackson impersonator on subway platforms. Sources say he was homeless, had a history of mental illness, and was arrested over 40 times for charges including assault and disorderly conduct. We've learned minutes before his death, Neely was acting erratically on the train, throwing trash, threatening passengers, and yelling he was hungry. Several passengers called 911. Now the NYPD says they have arrested arrested 12 people who they believe were connected to that chaotic protest at the 63rd and Lexington Avenue subway stop at this hour. They are still looking for six more individuals. That's the very latest here in Soho. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.